Hello, I'm Chris Morris, Child Passenger Safety Technician at Rex Women's Center at Rex Hospital in Raleigh, North Carolina. And I'm going to try to attempt this afternoon to install, to properly install this child safety seat into this car. As you will see, this child seat or the infant carriers come in two parts. The part here is the carrier, that's what carries the child. The part here is the base, that's actually what fits in your car. I'm going to walk over here and we're going to try to attempt to install it on the right passenger side. You really need to let this front seat up for the mere sign of you just getting in here and having a good place to work. So right now, I'm going to let this front seat out of the way. Now I have a place to work in here. What I like to do start off first is to ensure that the seat is at its proper angle. This will work if you can pull your vehicle on a straight non-angled position like a flat parking lot or a flat driveway. Don't start installing while your seat is on a hilly surface. So we're on a flat surface here now. This is the bubble that I'm looking for. I'm making sure that this little bubble is in between these two lines. You see right now it is not because I'm pressing down hard. That's what your seat belt or your latch hook is going to do. So in order to get this at its level, I simply press these two orange buttons at the same time. As pressing them at the same time, the foot will lower. This is the foot. It will lower. Now I press down again. As you see, the bubble is not quite level. So I mash on these or press on these two buttons, come down to the next position. Now you see the bubble is level. I'm pushing hard here. You see the bubble is level. Now we can start installing the car seat either with the seat belt or the latch hooks. I'm going to show you where the latch hooks are located in this car. Most of them are located in the same spot, which is here. You will see this little um, button here. Well, if you can see real close, there's a picture of a child in a child seat. Underneath that button, you can put your finger there and you can feel that hook. You go 11 inches over, or if you want to get technical, 11.02 inches over, and there's another button. You put your finger directly under that button and you can feel the hook. What you do not do is take this hook and this hook over here for this seating position and create your own center. You have to either hook here or you hook here unless you have certain vehicles that allow it to be hooked in the center with the latch hooks. And after a, a while I will demonstrate how to put it into the center without the latch hooks. So at this time Take the latches off, which are located here. Incidentally, latch is an acronym. It's an acronym for lower anchorage and tether for children. So what does that mean? Lower anchorage. So we take the hooks off, and this is what the latch hook looks like on this particular car seat. You got a large nose here. You got the small here. If you'll see on the back, there are a set of arrows there that says this has to be up. This portion of the seat has to be up. So that's telling me that this big nose has to be up in the air. So you will hear a very strong positive click. See if I can let you hear it here. That's telling me that it is in the correct position. If you don't hear that click, start again. Don't trust it if you don't hear the click. Over here, I'm going to go another strong positive click. If you hear that, you're hooked. There again, if you don't hear it, don't trust it.
Now let's get this seat tight. This is very simple. I myself came up with this procedure to put my foot on the floorboard, put my knee in front of the seat, push in, grab the seat tighten strap, push down on the seat, push in with your knee, and pull up on the strap. Push in, push down, pull up. Push in, push down, pull up. Once you do that a couple of times, check the seat to see if it does not move more than an inch side to side. This is solid. It's not going anywhere. This is normal. This is normal. This is not normal to move more than an inch side to side. I go one more step, grab here, grab here, jerk forward, it does not move. There again, it should not move more than an inch forward, more than an inch side to side. The bubble is in the middle, the seat is now installed correctly. This is the carrier part of the seat that I just, of the base I just installed. If you will see the carrier has a carrying handle and you see here that it normally rocks. All car seats rock. Well we don't want this thing to fly back and sit in this position so that's what the carrying handle does. It is a rocker stopper and keeps the child from rocking backwards. This is exactly what this is. This is a carrying handle and a rocker stopper. Please don't use this as a toy hanger. This is how you get the seat out of the base. Right there, just like that. You just go back and forth, you will get the seat out of the base. Now I'm gonna place this into the base and show you the correct way to do that. When placing this seat into your base, it's really not hard to do. I see most, most parents, they'll put the seat down and they try to overpower it. They do this and try to overpower it and try to get it in there. If you just simply come up to the base, let it find its way, it clicks right in. Grab back here, and that's how it comes out. Goes in, comes out. Just that simple. You don't have to do all of this and overpower it. Once you place it in for travel, the child's in here, seat's in here, this carrying handle needs to come back in this position. Some car seats don't matter. This particular seat does matter. So the carrying handle needs to be back in the back position. Please don't hang toys from this. Now I'm going to install this seat in the correct way in the center position of this vehicle. Now I am now in a Toyota. Toyotas do not allow latches to be used here and latches to be used here for the center position. Now you have to read your owner's manual of your car and see if it is allowed for you to use your center latch hooks. I happen to know Toyota does not allow it. So I'm going to come here and install this seat with the seat belt to show the correct way. Notice I put the belt through here. Right through there where it's coming from. I put the belt through and I pin down the latch hook that we're not using. I pin it down so it doesn't get in the way. I'll come across here on the other side and I'll pin it down over here. Then I come over here and I hook the belt to the center position. The center position belt. Toyota happens to have center written on the belt, which is very, very, um, you might say, convenient. Now to keep this from getting in the way, which is your pull strap, curl this up and put it right in this little home right there. Now watch this very carefully. I'm going to pull down and pull up on the belt. I'm going to hold what I did. I'm not letting anything go. I'm going to push down again and pull up on the belt. I'm going to hold to everything. I'm not letting anything go.
I'm going to pull up on the belt until it's relatively tight. Then I'm going to lay the belt down, hold it like this, listen very carefully. I'm holding that tight. I'm putting my hand down here, the palm of my hand. I'm holding it where it is and see it's not going anywhere. Then if you'll see, there is an orange slit within the seat. See where the belt's going in? That is your lock off. The belt goes right inside that orange slit. It slits all, it goes all the way up into the seat. That keeps the seat from slipping. At this point, the seat now is installed correctly in the center position with the seat belt. If you'll notice, this vehicle, this Toyota, has a fold-down armrest. The seat installed correctly against the armrest is preventing the armrest from coming forward. It don't go forward far, so it's preventing it from coming forward. If you had a seat that's very low, very low down to the seat that has what we call a low seat belt path. This is the seat belt path. And it's very low down to the car which would prevent this fold down armrest from slamming forward. And the fold down armrest weighs a whole lot. Weighs is pretty heavy. It's got cup holders in it, those kind of things. You might consider, you might consider discussing where to pl place this seat in the center in front of the fold down armrest. I normally leave that up to the parents. Uh, we, uh, the best practice is the center position. We like to see the center position. Best practice is center position, but there are times to where the center position is just not present. And this just might be one of them. Uh, but as long as it's like this, you're perfectly safe. Your child's installed correctly in this child seat. Okay, I'm going to try to install this seat properly in the, in the uh, rear, rear right seat of this vehicle, which is with the latch hooks. If you'll see, this seat has a base and it has the carrier. Right now, we're going to install the base. This base has three different positions. It also has the latch hooks. I'm going to try to install this seat correctly using the latch hooks. The latch hook for this particular seat comes from the back, comes from the back, and if you will see, the belts or the latch hooks do this. It's kind of a, it's kind of a peaching belt to it right here. It's kind of a peaching belt. If you see, it does this right here. This part of the belt that you tighten does the same thing like this, but this is the tighten spot. Here's your tag in. You would pull this tag in to tighten, and you would uh, use the thumb bar. This is called a thumb bar. You would take that thumb bar, pull it at a 90 degree angle, and that will loosen it. So this is the tighten, and the thumb bar here, is to loosen. When installing this seat, I like to go ahead and pull out a little bit of, of seat belt so I have something to hold on to, where I have something to grab a hold to. At this point, I'm going to take this latch hook and place it onto the latch hook of the vehicle. Latches in this Toyota are either over here or they're over there. We do not grab this latch, we do not grab this latch and make a center out of it. It's either over here or it's over there. So this seat belt or this latch hook, excuse me, here, I would actually do this. Here's the hook. I'd actually come in with the latch hook laying down, go past the hook, make a rotate and click. So I'd go in this action, I'd go past the hook with, the, with it laying down, pass the hook, rotate, and click. Notice I'm laying the latch hook down. I'm laying it down like this. I'm not laying it up like that. Laying it down, come to the hook, find the hook, go past it, turn it, click. The belts are now nice and pretty and they're not turned. Okay, come over here and do the same thing with this side. Go lay the belt down, 
to pass the hook, turn it, click. If you'll notice, the latch hook for this seat brought it to the driver's side or to the outside door of the car seat. So instead of pulling like from my stomach, from pulling this way, it's a whole lot easier to pull this way. So that's why I've changed locations to pull the seat tight. So I'll grab the belt, the tag end of the belt. I'll pull it up underneath here. I'll take the tag end of the belt and I'll go underneath and grab it. You don't want to go on the outside or you'll put up, you, you, could, you could twist the belt inside the buckle. So you take the belt, go underneath, pull it from this direction, grab the tag end, lay your arm across it, lay your other hand here, and just kind of pull and shake it. Pull and shake it. Just kind of pull on it till you get all the slack out. Just keep pulling, shaking, pulling, shaking. And then if you'll see, this part of the belt has to go under this flap. And it's good to go ahead and place it there before you get it very tight. Because once you get the belts tight, it's hard to put that flap, put it underneath the flap. So notice I'm putting everything underneath this flap. That's the way this particular brand of seat wants this placed in here. Okay, once I've got all the slack out, once I've got the belt underneath the flap, I then come in here, foot on the floorboard, knee up against it, push down, pull up. If you'll see, this forces you on top of the seat, which really makes you have the power to push down and pull up. Push in, push down, pull up. And there the seat is now installed properly. If you have problems with angles here of the seat not doing its correct angle, this seat does allow you to place a small towel or a pool noodle or something of that nature underneath here to get this up to obtain your level, your proper level. If you'll notice, we're now putting the seat into the base. However, still, do not overpower it. Don't try to do this. Don't try to do that because it is not going to fit. Just line it up with the base, let it drop, and it drops right into the base. This particular seat does not care where this handle goes. It can go anywhere you want to put it. However, I do personally like it in the first, first clicked position. A lot of people doesn't, do not know what this is for. This is if you get caught somewhere in a taxi cab or in a, anywhere, any kind of public transportation and you don't have your base with you, you could put the seat belt through here to strap the seat down in an emergency situation. And what I mean by that is you just simply take the belt across, across, and click it down looking like this. You do not do it this way with the base. You only do it this way without the base if you get caught somewhere with your carrier only. Then this is a way you can strap it down. See the seats now installed correctly. This is how you know that the seats level and correct. All blue showing here. There's no orange showing at all. Now we're looking straight on to it here. All blue showing. I'm going to explain a couple of ways that I like to, um, to place the baby in a car seat for safe travel. Here I have my doll. I have two blankets and I have the car seat. Notice I have the car seat set down in the rocker stopper side so it doesn't rock backwards. I would suggest when you're putting your child into this child seat for travel, do this inside your house. Do it on a table somewhere where you can stand up, somewhere where you, can't, where you don't bend over and, and lose your composure trying to get the child in. 
So we're just for the sake of purposes, we're standing in the house over a kitchen table. I will take the seats. I'll take the seat here and I'll let all the belt out. Once I let all the belt out, I'll place the child into the car seat. I'm going to place the shoulders underneath the belt, making sure that the belt is over the shoulders and cupping the child's body. I mean the belt cupping over the child's body. The belt point down here should be at or below the shoulder level. Come back over here, do the same thing, and cup the shoulder with the belts. Please do not put those belts above the shoulder level. This is called a retainer clip. Place the retainer clip on. That should be armpit level. Then I place the belt over the child's body. This belt here should be over the knees. Should not be under the knees. This part of the belt here should be over the knees onto the waist. The belt should not be down here. Once I've done that, I take the belt and I just simply pull it to a snug position. And there it is. Junior is now ready to go. Now, what's snug and what's tight? Snug is what we like to see. So what I like to do is put my finger on the child's shoulder point. Not down here. On the shoulder point and pull the belt to where it's snug onto my finger. The same thing over here. Put the, uh, put the, on the shoulder point, put my finger underneath the shoulder point there and pull to the belt is snug on my finger. You will not get it tight here. That will not happen. If it's too tight here, it's too tight everywhere. If we have a little movement, in this area, you are allowed to put a small washcloth or small little something of that nature right there to, to uh, get it a little tighter around the crotch area. However, it is not made to be so tight on the body here, only here on the shoulder, which at that point pushes the baby's body down into the seat. Notice in this child seat here, and most every infant carrier or small children, you'll see a, a, a small space in here. You'll see a space in here. Well, there are things to, that come with this seat that I really can't argue about. If the seat, if this comes with a seat, it's safe to use with a seat. But when you get other objects in there that are too thick, too big, thick clothes, thick snow suits, those kind of things interfere with this belt. But to keep this child's head from moving left, moving right, doing this, doing that, or putting too much thickness behind the head which causes him to do this, which that's a no-no, causes him to do this, I simply wrap me a towel. Here's one right here, and notice it's long width. I place it right beside the child's body. Now how I roll that towel is I just take it long ways, fold it in half, roll it right down and you can bring a towel of your choice you can bring any color little towel you want it don't have to be these you can bring your own come in here lay it side beside the child's body come down now the child is secured within the seat so his body doesn't roll left and right I hope you enjoyed my little presentation here. If you have any questions about any of this child seat selections or any child seat uh, installations, you can check buckleup.org and they'll give you all the answers you want to know. You can also check with your local fire department, local police department, or any one of your local agencies that have a certified technician that can certainly help you with the installation of your child seats. Or you could also call me directly. My telephone number is 919-784-1802. And I do have voicemail on that particular phone. I'm at Rex Hospital on Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 830 to 1230. Thank you.